new PC hardware deals are here and they're looking pretty good. Nvidia Blackwell B100 and B200 are beasts. Sony PlayStation 5 Pro gets leaked. And lastly, Sony has said the PS5 Pro PSSR upscaling are getting up to 4K 60 and 8K 30. Okay, so firstly, we have the MSI GeForce RTX 4070 Ti 12 gigs got a price cut, a massive price cut. Well, I wouldn't say massive because it's a shy of 6%, but it's still a price cut, you know, for 729 you can get this. But not only that, you can get it more if you apply a coupon here, which gives you a $40 oh, price cut here, which is pretty good, right? 729 minus 40, it comes down to $689, dollars which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. It goes down quite a lot. So I feel like now the RTX 4070 Ti would be a better contender at 689 though there are only 20 left in UK of course. In other areas there might be less but who knows. We'll see about that. But yeah it's running out so you should check that link out if you wish to. We also have the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X and this one got the biggest price cut here. 21% is no joke. From 699 to 549 it's a huge cut definitely. Although there is no coupon to be added here but i feel like you don't really need it because 21 percent cut is pretty good 549 you can get this right now and the stock is pretty much available so yeah no need to hurry still i would hurry because you know it's a pretty good deal if you're looking for a beefy processor like this you can check the link in the description at kit.co slash tech track and yeah you can get these processor, processor and of course the gpu itself so please check it out it helps the channel and yeah if you're looking for a good deal it's right over there next up we have something interesting here at xp gpu has posted this and it's really interesting to see so let's quote him i don't want to spoil nvidia b100 launch tomorrow but this is this thing is a monster this guy says it he also says two dies on cowosl meaning eight times eight hi hbm 3e stacks basically hbm 3e memories will be utilized on the b100 of 192 gigs of memory which is a lot of memory that's for sure and of course this is the m100 success Successor for nvidia blackwell b100 and b200 which is even more crazy because one year later as b100 launches after one year later or one just one year later we'll have b200 that will have 12 hi stacks and also will be offering 288 gigs that's a lot of memory right there and about the performance basically he didn't really say anything it says oh no jensen is there me run away but yeah we'll see about the performance later on but already we can tell that black well b100 seems like a pretty good deal because 192 and 288 is no joke and not only that 8 times 8 hi hbme 3 and this is going 12 hi so yeah it's, it's looking pretty crazy and also they say it's gonna be stacking so basically an mcm gpu probably that is the case we'll see about that and next up uh, we have some good information from kepler of course and well kepler is very much known for accurate leaks so we'll be seeing some leaks about the ps5 pro and it's seems like it's quite interesting so basically he codes bvh8 is interesting not only confirms ps5 pro is using rdna4 rt meaning that ps5 pro will be utilizing the rdna4 before any rdna4 gets launched here so yeah obviously this, this is pretty interesting to see that rdna4 will be utilized in ps5 pro at first which will be launching in my opinion it should be launching i guess in november but i'm not sure i'm just guessing at this point it also confirms that rdna4 double the r2 throughout price cycle so basically the performance and in ps5 will be doubled in terms of of course the ray tracing using the rdna4 and that is kind of interesting to see that so yeah that's some juicy information right over there that they will be utilizing rdna4 in ps5 pro so that's quite exciting we did get some of the leaks previously but now let's look into the whole summary here so playstation 5 pro as you can see it will be using the same amd zen 2 architecture cpu as used in playstation 5 so that isn't changing and cpu of configuration still also remains same but the cpu clock goes up which is 3.85 gigahertz from 3.5 so that's pretty good and yes the gpu will be utilizing the amd rdna4 rt but it will be on rdna3 SKU. so that is the interesting part here they'll be utilizing the ray tracing for rdna4 but the whole gpu die will be based on rdna3 so that's quite interesting how they're gonna be you know intertwining both architectures together we'll see how that works and also as you can see it will be 60 cus almost double that's from 36 to 60 cus so yeah it's like almost double not wide but yeah it's, it's quite a lot and yeah the gpu clock will also be like kind of similar it hasn't been leaked yet but they said uh, around 2.18 but i feel like it's gonna be remaining the same 2.23 but even it can go down doesn't 
matter because you know the, it, it has more cu so it's not a big big of a deal and yeah that gpu power from fp32 is 33.5 from 10 teraflops going up to 33.5 even beating the yeah exactly xbox series x so absolutely beast of your console right over there and of course the memory configuration remains the same except the memory speed going up to 18 gbps and the storage will be also the same the price hasn't been launched yet and yeah this is the leak as i told you before november 2024 that is a guess for now we're not sure but we'll see about that all in all the leaks looking good ray tracing improved and the specs look already that good i feel like it's gonna be winning the console war definitely not only that from insider gaming they get to test two games well i'm not sure they tested th these two games using the pssr but it is kind of big deal it is so if you look right over here they have tested these two games or probably got some information leaked out but we'll see so they didn't mention the game of course so it just says game one and game two we're not for sure but look at the target the target was image quality close to fidelity mode which is 1800p with performance mode fps at 60 of course so that's was that was the target 800p 60 fps and using the ps5 not the pro of course the non-pro we get to see this kind of performance here so the performance mode on pssr gets 80p at 60 fps and in the fidelity mode it gets 1800p at 30 fps but when you look into the playstation 5 pro using the pssr used we get 1440p 60 fps exactly so the resolution is 1440p is already pretty good now also running at 60 fps but if you look into the playstation 5 performance mode just look at the performance mode it was 1080p 60 but in the fidelity mode which is you know the best best quality image quality it was 1800p 30 so then it isn't a really a apples to apples comparison here because you know it's an 1800p versus 1440p so we can't really tell but using the playstation 5 pro and also you know pssr enable it reaches 1440p 60 fps i believe fidelity mode cannot do 30 uh i guess 60 fps using 1440p or maybe gets close to it but not close enough maybe like 50 fps i'm not sure i don't think 50 fps does really you know make sense but maybe that is the case we're not sure but it's not an apples to apples comparison so we can't really tell a difference but all in all what we can tell is that a playstation 5 pro will be targeting that kind of performance as you can tell 1440p 60 fps using the pssr it may not seem like crazy but when you look into the game two here uh the target was right over here was adding ray tracing to gameplay so it wasn't at the uh, ray tracing added so this one was ray tracing added I, i'm guessing the same game because you know they don't mention it but then the game two benchmark they have added the ray tracing and this is what we get standard playstation 5 achieved 60 fps without ray tracing exactly and playstation 5 pro achieved 60 fps with ray tracing now the question is was pssr on or off we're not sure but it does tell you that playstation 5 5 was achieving 60 fps with ray tracing and my guess would be it wasn't at 1080p because they don't really tell the resolution here again it's a really early sample we're talking about here there might be a lot of you know things going on background but what we can tell is that playstation 5 pro ray tracing is quite improved and we already know why it's because yes exactly rdna 4 will be utilized the only the ray tracing or ray accelerators we could say that but yeah exactly these performance metrics are quite interesting it's all over the place because you know we can't really compare directly 1800p versus 1440p it doesn't really go really well even though playstation 5 looks pretty good here 1440p 60 fps but again pssr on so i'm guessing pssr is doing pretty good and when they add ray tracing the actual ray tracing performance you, you know we get to see that is that flawless 60 fps with ray tracing enabled in playstation 5 you can't really do that so yeah playstation 5 pro already looks pretty strong so what do you think about these leaks here it's pretty interesting that's for sure because you know ps5 pro is looking pretty solid the only question is is ray tracing is gonna be that great or is it gonna be hitting you know if they say that 4k 60 or 8k 30 i'm not sure that is possible maybe using pssr it is possible we'll see about that because you know most of the times if it's a lower resolution upscaling it isn't really a big deal because you know upscaling doesn't really make sense in 1080p or even 1440p in some cases but it does make sense in 4k and 8k obviously so we'll see if playstation 5 pro can reach this level of performance also can also can reach 4k 60 or even 8k 30 we'll see about that so what do you think do tell me in the comments and yeah like share and subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video